Hi friends! So I've been back here in Idaho for a little over a week and I'm more or less done getting settled. All of my stuff is unpacked, mostly put away. I say mostly because I've been going through things as I've been putting things away. So like dusting, as I'm going through and like cleaning things off, I've just been like going through some drawers and doing a little bit of spring cleaning, pulling out things that I wanna donate or just th things that are ready to recycle. But I also wanted to show some of the gifts that I received when I was in Puerto Rico for like holidays and also just stuff that I picked up. The first thing I wanna show you, I love so much. So my sister is a resin artist and she made this 32 ounce water bottle for me and I love it. I got to pick everything I wanted for her to make for it. So I found all these Lisa Frank stickers and then we found these um, Garbage Pail Kids stickers. I think these are reissues though. They're not like the OG OG ones, but they're, um, they're still pretty cool. And then she put this border on there and then it's all covered in resin. It came with two tops. This It has one that you can attach the straw, and then it has this one where it's just a little tube, or no, not a tube, but like a mouthpiece here. So you can pick whatever you like, but I'm really happy to have received this. There was another friend who had made something similar for me, but unfortunately it broke. So I was wanting, I've been using this one for a long time. I actually took this one, which is also treasured because I got it when I was in Oakland at this shop. And, um, but it's not insulated and you're just kind of, when it gets warm, it gets warm and you're drinking it. So I was really glad to have this. I understand it holds hot and cold, although I don't imagine putting anything hot in it. It's pretty big for coffee and I'm not a huge coffee drinker, but definitely ice and whatnot. So I'm very happy to have received this. This was custom for me, so I'm really happy. And I also put my sister's information here for her business. If you're interested in having her make something custom for you like this, she also does, she does so much stuff. <laughs> I mean, she does like resin trays. She does chess sets. Um, she'll do like memorials for people who've lost like family members, like she's um, put flowers in resin or even pets, like she'll put le their uh, leash. Um, and like photos and stuff in resin. So it's like a nice keepsake. She does really nice stuff. Um, so this was a gift that I received for Christmas from my aunt when I was in Puerto Rico and I love it. So it's a little Santa mug and it has this beautiful plate to put the mug on. And that's not it. It came with a spoon and I love the spoon for my hot cocoa or for my coffee but also just love it. I really love Christmas and I love my little Puerto Rican Santa. This was a fan that belonged to my cousin's grandmother and um, it's pretty typical of the kinds of fans and like the, how they're um, decorated. So it says Puerto Rico here. And it has like farmers here, this tree, and it's very typical in Puerto Rico. It's very, very red. It's beautiful. I know most people think palm trees when they think of Puerto Rico, but actually this tree is pretty iconic. It's a little tiny canvas that an artist painted. In my last video, I showed going to I think I was in Calle and it was like this artist market and this nice place to go eat. And um, anyway, so they had little, they had artists there. So the artist had made this and it came with a little easel to put it on. I got these little earrings from the same artist. I love this. This is going to be a gift. Or a friend of mine who also really loves cats <laughs> so um, yeah and I think this is like a, a linen cotton fabric it's just a little bag 
So I grabbed that for her. But then I got the earrings for me. Because <laughs> sometimes you gotta treat your sale. Also, something that I got for myself. I like to find little keepsakes that remind me of where I travel, but for it not to be like something that I couldn't use or have a purpose for. So I like to get magnets. So I'm gonna, I actually have, oh, you can see right here over my shoulder. I have a couple of these tabarets or art carts. And so I put my magnets on there. So I'm gonna add this to my art cart. I also found this in Puerto Rico at a shop called Box Lunch, but I also just kind of loved it so much. Let me show you. I really want to turn it into a purse. Like I want to have a strap installed here so that I can use it as a purse instead of like a toiletry bag, which might be the actual purpose of it. So this is the little fry bag. They're the chicken McNuggets. I don't carry a lot of makeup with me on a daily basis, so it wouldn't have a purpose for me in that way, but just as a purse to like carry my wallet or like um, put like some art supplies in when I'm out and about. My little tiny, I have a little tiny um, watercolor palette and then my little tiny watercolor sketchbook. This is so cute. So it's from Box Lunch. So I do collect children's books. A lot of the books, a good amount of the books that I have are books that belong to both my sister and I and I kept some of them but then others are books that I've collected through the years because I love the art and I love the story that's told so when I was in Puerto Rico I was on the lookout for a children's book and I found this one and what I love about it is that it's a story about a dad putting his daughter to bed and it is in Spanish. Look at that kitty. Oh, so cute. But I think if you took high school Spanish, or even if you didn't, the Spanish is very simple and you probably know these words. I really like the art. I really like the story. I love their curly hair. I could be biased, but I really like their curly hair. It's a darling little book. Yeah. These are some old school records that I bought for myself. I thought this sounded really cool. I haven't listened to it yet, but I love the idea of big band Latin jazz. Hell yeah. Oh, I also want to show a book that I picked up when I got back. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Strega Nona, but this book I got from Amazon, it's like stories in it. It has six stories in it. And I love, love, love this art. But I just, I love this. This is so pretty. I love the palette and just the simplicity of it. It's lovely. So I'll have to show you guys some books a little bit later. I did want to show you what I picked up for my family. <laughs> so I had asked my dad what he wanted me to get for him from Puerto Rico to bring back to him. And he, he is not a man who particularly needs or desires a lot of things in that way. So he said to me, bring me back some air. So I did. <laughs> I um, I went outside, I, my aunt had this little jar in her fridge. So I think it had, we had apples in it. So I ate the apples <laughs> that, was, that were in it and um, cleaned off the bottle, cleaned it out and then let it like air out dry so it wouldn't have any scent of the previous food that was in it and then one day it was kind of rainy which you know Puerto Rico it's rainy a lot but I went outside and I had, to, had the bottle and I had the lid and I just scooped it out and covered it and closed it so it's not glued so if my dad wants to open it that's totally up to him but I'm going to paint the top of it um, I need to grab my acrylic paint so I can paint the top of it and I 
think I'm, I might paint something on the bottom. I don't know, but I want to decorate the top of it for sure and probably just leave it. I picked up this for my mom. She asked for a pilon and it's a hand painted wooden pilon. This is a mortar and pestle or you might know it as a molcajete, which is a little bit different than this, but we call this a pilon and it's used for like smashing things. So um, like for example, when I was younger, it was my job to peel garlic whenever my mom needed it. And so I would peel the garlic, put it, cut the little ends off with a little tiny paring knife, and then she'd put it in here with some salt. And then we would smash it and grind it using the salt as an abrasive and then uh, mash it up but now this is she's collecting it because we have things like a garlic press <laughs> so i don't well she has an aluminum pilon which is super old school and i'm not sure if she still uses it she might but it's just so easy to use a garlic press so maybe that's what she uses i'll have to ask her I brought this for my dad. I brought him a couple of these. This is our favorite in Puerto Rico. This is the family's favorite hot sauce. I don't know if my dad's had this one in particular, but my sister, I literally sent her 12, 12 of these. I sent her 12 and like a couple of large ones. It's just a really good hot sauce. It's not too hot. If you like more of a vinegary kind of hot sauce with just like a little something on the end, you would like this. I also got my mom tostonera. So this is what's used to make tostones, which is fried plantains. So you get a plantain, you cut it kind of at an angle, and then you fry it. And then once it's golden brown, you like drain it, but still hot. And then you put it in here, this opens. And then you put it, you put the plantain in there and then you close it. So you smash it and then you put like garlic salt on it. It is bomb. So mom wanted one, and I really like this one because this is, I've never seen one like this with this kind of painting on it. So most of them say like Puerto Rico or something. So I like that, that was a little bit different. I also got this for my dad. He didn't ask for it, but I thought it was kind of neat. It's a little bit, had kind of like a old school, kind of like 70s, 80s vibe. And I'm like, dad can relate to that. And then in the last video I did, I was at the airport looking around at a gift shop and I saw this, something very similar to this. They were salt and pepper shakers. And I was looking at them and I was like really thinking maybe I would get them, but I decided not to because I knew I already had this. And this is like a little vase. So my mom really likes flowers and it's a little bud vase and I thought that would be pretty. And this reminds me of my mom. So that's why I didn't get the salt and pepper shaker, even though it was so cute. But I really don't like giving gifts that I, you know, I'm not sure people will actually use. And I'm like, something like this, you know, it's small enough. It's one piece. It doesn't necess necessarily need to have like a daily function of putting spices in it. So speaking of spices, I did pick this up for my mom. Um, I'm not sure if she uses sasson, but I'm not sure if they have this one. This is the culantro, achiote, and oregano, and this is so good. And then along with this one, I only got her one because I wasn't sure if she already has has it or has access to it where they live. Um, I also picked up this one. This is so good. We use this quite a, oh my gosh, I can smell it. Um, we use this for beans, this is bomb. So it's it's pumpkin flavor, but it also has um, ham flavor as well. So when we make beans, sometimes we'll put like a, a ham hock or like a neck bone in beans. But if you don't have that and you're just making, you know, using what you have in the house to get that ham flavor, this would be good for it. And then also they'll buy, um, like a piece of pumpkin and then they'll put it in the freezer and it's just like it just gives it a little bit of flavor my uncle makes these white beans with pumpkin They're like fire but anyways <laughs> um my uncle is definitely like one of the best cooks in the family so i picked up just a couple of these a set of these for me and i brought one of these for myself as well and finally i got this for myself so this is something you might see there in Puerto Rico, like 
even along like major streets it'll probably look a little more like a storefront this you might see somewhere else like in the campo like in the mountains or something they would have more of this setup um but it would be someone you know selling fruits and vegetables for you to buy and i really like this because it has a little movement there this broke when it was being transported but not like in a bad way just the bottom came off the bottom so i want to get some really good glue and like just kind of put her back so that's all my gifts and souvenirs that i picked up when i was in puerto rico I am still getting settled um, now that I'm back here in Idaho. And um, as you can see, I still have some Christmas stuff that was in my room before I left because I left in December. So I still have some Christmas stuff to go put away. I'll be doing that. And I'm also going to be starting this journal I wanted to show you. This is actually something I received from a friend I think a couple of years ago it's been a little while and I was doing something with my printer and I found it near my printer and I was like oh my gosh I forgot all about this so uh, this is called this year I will it's a 52 week guided journal or introduction the use of this journal um, will help you gain clarity around your true values establish accountability rewrite the limited stories that are blocking your progress connect with your community and use feedback to learn from what is working and what isn't. And that really resonated with me because as you know, I started this YouTube channel because I want to start a small art business. And I have lots of things that I've made, but I haven't like just gone forward and started selling anything yet. I'm making things for friends and just stuff for myself, but I do have things that I can um, make prints out of or stickers or bookmarks but I just haven't done it and I'm just I'm so nervous and I think the nervousness and the fear comes from just failure like not wanting to fail and and um, not w wanting people to not like what I make but there's so much of what I make that is not about other people I want to share it with people but it's just it's me they're things that I like and I love cats, I love robots, I also love watercolors, and I like whimsical things and children's books, and I would love to make my own children's book one day, so I thought this could be a useful tool to help me figure out how to achieve some goals this year, and also to have the language that I think I need in order to like be encouraging of myself. I think it's can be a bit of a misconception when it comes to being a creator that we need all this outside approval and we need people to really validate what we're doing but this is important to me and for people who like it great they'll get something and i'm sure there will be people who won't like it that doesn't mean i shouldn't do it so i'm going to try this out and i'll let you guys know more you'll, hopefully you'll see this in future videos um, as far as me working through it. I really like the first part. The first part was just super simple. It's getting started. Um, it's just like a question and some places to write. But the first thing is just writing down goals you really want to achieve. And then you look at the goals that I've identified and then spend some time writing about your why. Why do you want these things to happen? How do you think they'll make you feel? And that's also interesting and something that is talked about a lot in school when it comes to taking art classes. We talk a lot about our why. Why do we want to create? What does it mean to us? And I think having that why and sort of having your own personal mission statement really helps to define your art. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching my video. Please like and subscribe so you can see future videos and thanks so much.